Hey, this is Linz, and you are watching Support the Scene. Hi, my name is Linz, and this is Support the Scene. Today, we have Sam Chimes. Why, well, hello there. Hello. I'm super excited to have you here today. You know, uh, Sam Chimes is a mix of everything in the music industry. You know, you go from a uh, live performer and you're behind the camera, you produce music, you make it on the spot, in front of the crowds. It's really exciting all the things you do. Yeah, yeah. Uh, can you tell everyone more about you and your background, the things that uh, you do as a musician and a producer? Sure. So pretty much I am a sound ninja. <laughs> I, like, I like to call it sound ninja. But um, I, I'm a street performer, a live performer. I use my loop pedal and synthesizer, create the beats on the spot, layer my voice, sing, rap. Um, I usually do my, my original music and uh, my message is plain and simple. It's live your dream, don't back down. And nobody likes to be told what to do. So, you know, I, I just live it the best I can. Mm -hmm. And uh, with being such a live performer that's always continually moving, you have been able to travel across the world. Yeah. What kind of countries have you been to? Um, so I've been around the world two times, on oh, wow. two world tours. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, my first tour, I went to uh, first Sweden. It was so crazy because that was the year that I actually started street performing back in 2018. And, you know, I have a song saying, live your dream, don't back down. And every time I introduce a song, you know, I, I mention about this, how when I decided to go full time with my music, that was the first year I was able to actually travel out of the country. And I had an island to myself for two weeks. Oh, wow. So if you're listening to this, check out ideasisland.com. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty awesome. Um, yeah, so I went to Sweden, went to Ireland, stopped by Paris on the way back, and um, I had a layover in, in LA, so I did a little bit of street performance when I was there. Uh, my second tour, I went down to uh, New York, celebrated my birthday there, and then went to Paris again, celebrated my birthday there again. And while I was in Paris, I, I went to some different places, Zurich, Barcelona, London, Portugal. Portugal is my favorite place in the world to mm -hmm. uh, play music at. Yeah. yeah, the vibe was just so good and just like, yeah, the people, everything was just amazing. And yeah, I finished my second tour in Australia where I had showcases in all the uh, major cities all around there. And literally about a week or two before, uh, after my, my showcases were done, that's when Trudeau called me home. He's like, yo, Sam, come back. So <laughs> I was like, hey, mission accomplished. I'm ready. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. You know, you're the kind of artist that I see who definitely just wants to keep going. For you, have there been moments where it felt like inspiration and the moving forward was a bit of a struggle? 100%. You know, when I first started um, with the street shows, one thing that I, I had to battle was not to hit snooze and the discipline. Yeah. You know, because when you're starting your own business, it's easy to just sleep in or relax. Yeah. Right. So I had to build that mental stamina to, to get up to speed and, and keep doing that or else I'm not paying my rent. I'm not eating, you know. Uh, so that was the motivation. Um, there's been times when I'm playing and, you know, somebody maybe I would dress up because if I'm playing on the street or, or even in venue, you know, you can get a heckler Yeah. and somebody comes through and says something, what do you do then? Right. So I've had to just build my mental stamina and it's all about just repetition, just keeping on going. You know, there's no easy way out. You just got to have grit and just forget ego. Absolutely. Yeah. It's important to, even with yourself, uh, be kind. Just bring that power of positivity and you just uh, got that focus. Yeah. And also be hungry, music hungry. Gotta right? be hungry. <laughs> yeah, gotta be hungry. Well, as a producer as well, uh, who have you been working with or what have you been doing with music? Yeah, I've, I've, I've recorded some artists. Mm -hmm. uh, I've realized that, you know, it's fun recording artists, but I realized that as a performer, I'd rather right now be doing my stuff, you know, working on, on my own recordings. Uh, I have the skills, I have the ability, I have the equipment to uh, record people. Um, and I've had all kinds of experiences, you know. So um, 
one experience wasn't so great. So I kind of just stepped back from there. And, um, but in the future, you know, I have that ability, but I don't, because I have so many different avenues, you know, I can choose which one I focus on. So I would say that that's, that's not my most favorite to like record for others. Although I do have that ability and I will still be able to do it, but I wouldn't say that's my focus uh, right now. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I've had you be on some of my hip hop showcases, which I appreciate uh, all your hard work. Uh, being a sound ninja, you know, you have such fantastic talents, you know, being able to be, whether you're at the sound booth, being the sound engineer or on stage, uh, being the DJ or making sure the mics are working, yeah. you know, you have all these talents. Uh, are you still trying to push yourself out there that way too? That if people needed a DJ that you'll play for them? <laughs> I always stay ready. I actually got a radio show that I do every first and third Sunday of the month. Oh sick. Yeah, at Beaumont Studios actually. They started a radio station. Oh nice. Yeah, so. What's I keep, it called? Uh, my, my show is called Chimes Live FM. Uh-huh. Chimes Live Frequency Modulation because uh -huh. you know what, when I get on the radio, I'm sending out messages, you know, I'm, I'm shaking the airwaves and affecting people's minds and, and beings. So uh, that's why it's called Chimes Live FM. <laughs> I kind of feel like you need like uh, like the triangle and you ring the chimes. Uh, <laughs> like at the beginning of every show. It's <laughs> oh, Chimes Live FM. It's <laughs> Chimes <time. laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come get your food. Because <laughs> <laughs> you're hungry. <laughs> yeah, you know, staying hungry. <laughs> Uh, well, since you've done so much traveling, is there somewhere that you haven't been that you would like to go and perform? Yeah, I'd like to go visit Brazil. Ooh. Brazil, Mexico. Of course, the world's different now, you know, so of course. I always got to stay listening to the universe. Um, I know it's in my desire to check out Brazil and all these places. It may not be as a uh, full time, like just straight up going to street street performance stuff because, uh, you know, the currency is a little bit different. So that's you got to take all that into um, consideration. Um, if I was to visit, you know, I'd, I'd go and I just play just for fun and just just to bless some ears. You know, I wouldn't really be going um, with a mindset of um, financial sustenance. Yes. You know, so if I was to go, it'd be very much vacation and I'll definitely save up and, you know, do all the necessary budget and planning for all that but definitely like south america um argentina brazil mexico I'd love down to visit those, those places. warmer places yeah yeah because i've visited some of the other places you know i haven't i haven't been to um asia as a musician i've lived in asia actually when i was younger for five years oh i didn't know where yeah yeah brunei southeast asia oh okay yeah yeah so that was super fun um and it would be great because i think that I was, I was a young kid, I was around 12 years old or something when I left. So I know that they've had an impression on me. So it'd be really interesting to go back and experience them through the eyes of music. Mm -hmm. And even back to my homeland, back to Nigeria and just see even what street performing would be like over there. Yeah. Because that's, that's my roots. So it'd be interesting to kind of see what influences I might have uh, still had in my subconscious that's coming through my music, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Well, with... Uh you know, your own style, have you ever thought of working yourself into different genres of styles? Maybe into reggaeton or um, something like EDM kind of style? Yeah, well, I mean, like I say, I'm a sound ninja, so any yeah. genre I, I'm always analyzing <laughs> uh, whenever uh, back in the day when I'd be out in a restaurant or if I'm just walking by, I'm always listening, I'm always absorbing. So, and also when I go street perform, you know, I play and I do throw down different genres when I'm, say, making up something on the spot. Yeah. Yeah, so it could be like a bebop vibe, it could be soulful, it could be rock, uh, it could be reggae, you know. I had a couple come by and I, was, I asked them for a key or something, something. And anyway, we came up with this whole jam called Loving You Like a Sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> and it was a straight up reggae vibe and I actually made a beat out of it. But um, yeah, I, m my go-to vibration and genre is more the soul, uh, soul hop, I call it, lo-fi, chill hop. That's what I find more natural and just easy, just create. Um, but 
as far as different genres, I'm not limited to one. And yeah, it's so much fun to change it up. You know, it's like sniffing coffee after you take a sip of a drink. <laughs> yeah. It's good to uh, switch it up. Awesome. Yeah. Well, if anyone's looking for your music or to get a hold of you, how do they find you? Uh, you can go on Instagram. It's one chimes, O N E C H I M E S, and samchimes.com. I'd like to use this opportunity to let you know as well that I am releasing a song on December 30th called Looks Like We Made It. And I think it's a message that the world needs to hear right about now. Absolutely. And, you know, I just, I, some people think sometimes positivity is a little cheesy or impossible, but, you know, as, as you think, you are. So I just want to encourage you to just, you know, think on that positive and just try something different in your life. Um, but I want to send this message out. It looks like we made it because I think as we think more on that and apply that more in our lives, I think we're going to see more of that because I've seen it in my life. Absolutely. It's uh, important with the things that we learn and the hardships that we have that we pass on these learning lessons for those who uh, make it a little bit easier for them. Right? 100%. Yeah. We don't want those that we care about to experience the hardships that we've had to suffer from. Yeah, and music is such a powerful tool, you know. You can be driving and you think you're not listening, but I think our subconscious is always um, being affected. Mm -hmm. uh, I was listening to an audiobook recently. Uh, I forget the name of it, I think it's like feeling is, is the key. But the one thing that I was getting from it is how feeling is the connection between your conscious and your subconscious. And, you know, you want to manifest things and it's through feeling you can say all you want but if you don't feel it it's hard to really attract that into your life or see the patterns or see the clues to what you're wanting to get so the feeling so you know you make music or you do you make music right like you saying yes. i know you're saying right yes right <laughs> but you know music is all about that feeling so when people are feeling that thing you know we're affecting them so we must really understand and be careful the messaging that we're passing along and I think it's a very honorable and powerful thing. I think artists are one of the most powerful, powerful people. Absolutely. Yeah. We we save lives uh, with music. There's so many people that, you know, don't know how to express and survive through their hardships that music just changes things in a matter of seconds. Yeah. Um, lots of people I've heard when they're like walking down the train tracks mm -hmm. and you know they heard this one song and it was just like I wanted to live mm -hmm. wanted to see tomorrow yeah I mean I've experienced it in my life growing up you know I've, I've been in some dark spots and I remember listening to Tupac and some of the messaging that helped me yeah uh, is there anybody out there that you would love to collaborate with one day mmm I, I take I take the artists as they come, uh, based on the here and now. Um, uh, but to be honest, right off the top of my head, um, I want to get some live instrumentation into my um, my radio show, mm -hmm. right? So some sax players, such as Rebel Links, he's a great sax player, mm -hmm. older guy, and um, Jacob Elwood. We played together actually, and uh, he was on my. One of my albums I released last year, Five Days of Christmas. So I want to get him on. And yeah, just those live instrumentations. Yeah. And for <laughs> yourself, what about instruments? Is there instruments that you aren't, uh, well, experienced with that you'd love to learn how to play or work with more? I think guitar and bass would be really cool to learn. I mean, saxophone would be really sick. <laughs> Get a hold of the producer, Jade. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Jade plays, eh? Okay. So, nice. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Sam, for being on here. I really appreciate it. Thank you. You are such a hardworking musician and you inspire so many. You work with so many people and keep pushing through. So, thank you. Appreciate it. You too. Well, my name is Lance, and this is Support the Scene. Take care. Peace. Thanks for watching. This is Support the Scene. Make sure to subscribe, hit the bell, follow, and share.